Just moments ago, Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley wrapped up a policy speech on abortion in Virginia. Joining us now is NBC's Ali Vitali, who attended that speech. Ali, good morning. What did she have to say? Well, look, Jose, as this issue becomes increasingly central to the Republican 2024 presidential primary, you've got the only woman in this field taking the issue head on, as opposed to some of her other rivals who are being more reactive in their stances on the abortion issue. But for Haley, being here was not as much about specifics as it is in her way of just trying to lay the groundwork that she wants to set, not necessarily a weak mark, not even necessarily uh, what she plans to do specifically on this issue, but instead trying to build in her words, consensus on one of the thorniest issues of our time. Here's an example of the way that she was talking about it, trying to find the middle ground on something that we know six in 10 Americans believe should be safe and legal in all or most cases. Watch. My goal as president will be the same as it was when I was governor and ambassador. I want to save as many lives and help as many moms as possible. We should be able to agree that contraception should be more available, not less. And we can all agree that women who get abortions should not be jailed. A few have even called for the death penalty. That's the least pro-life position I can possibly imagine. So look, we're watching Haley there work from the most extreme positions on both sides back towards some kind of middle. Look, at one point she praises the fact that Dobbs sent this back to the states to decide. And then on the other hand, also said at a later point in this speech that she does believe that there is a role for the federal government. But there were a lot of reality checks throughout this speech, Jose. Haley trying to say that in order to make any kind of change at the federal and national level, you need the numbers to reflect what each party wants in the House and in the Senate. At one point, she made the example that you would need 60 Republican votes in the Senate to actually go forward on abortion legislation. She made the note that that hasn't happened in about 100 years. So a reality check there, even as she said that this shouldn't be a debate about the specifics on weak marks and exceptions, but instead on finding consensus. But again, no specific as to what that would look like in a Haley administration.